Hello and welcome back. Have you ever wondered how people are able to join meetings with funny filters and avatars such as this one? Are you using Zoom and people are using virtual backgrounds? Ever wondered how that could be done? Well, let's show you. Hi, so here I am in Zoom and the Zoom desktop. Now, much like before when I've used FaceRig, which is a tool that I'm using to create the avatars, um, I'm going in and I'm gonna change the feed in between my webcam and the interface on the particular application I'm using. So what am I gonna do? First off, you're gonna to go to Steam. You need FaceRig. I bought this 12, 13 British pounds not much at all and it's a loaded DLC as well that can add that little bit of extra hilarity once I had it and downloaded it it was simply a case of running the software and here I am this is how this technology is working now as you can see I've got quite a busy background in my workshop where I do all my work create these videos and also work for a living so I'm using this particular camera Okay, here's my Microsoft Life Cam. Great, it's picking me up. You can see the dots are picking up my eyebrows, eyes, nose, and my mouth, my facial expressions. So as I move my eyebrows, so does the avatar. And that's great. That's how the technology is working. It's tracking my face movement. Now you can calibrate this at the top for auto quick or auto calibrate of the head pose. Click on this, hold perfectly still. Okay, um, and that way then when I move my head slightly, so does the avatar. Do the same as well for expressions, if your expressions are slightly out of kilter. And you can also toggle audio based lip sync on or off. So I like a bit of lip sync on, actually I think it's great. You can also take snapshots of this as well, good old screenshot. Uh, and also hide the interface at the top. Now this is the most advanced interface. You can select that by switching to basic or switching to interface plus. Also you can select which avatar you want. Now, this fine gentleman here might not be your cup of tea. However, perhaps you might want to do this as a polar bear. And why wouldn't you? Let's hide that picture in picture. He's a cheeky fella. And there's another one as well. Ha <laughs> ha. But I like the one with the loud shirt. I think that is absolutely fantastic. You can also add customizations and props and additional behavior as well. For example, you can add a prop and then attach it in some manner, should you wish. Just that added little bit of customization. So that's all that way very well and good. I'm broadcasting this, so that by default is off. I am broadcasting this to my camera feeds. We're gonna come in as the polar bear. We're gonna select the background. We're gonna have a different background few there from um, Team Fortress, Halloween, say one from Oktoberfest. But why not have a polar bear in a house? How cool is that? That's not bad. So with that done, we're broadcasting back into Zoom. Let's look at our settings. So onto video, you can see this is the feed that Zoom is receiving from FaceRig. Um, I'm not gonna bother touching up the appearance. That takes a little bit too much uh, processing time. And besides, I'm a very handsome polar bear. Uh, I'm not gonna bother with virtual background, although with some avatars, you have better success uh, than others. So a bear in space is quite good. So, hey, perhaps we'll, perhaps we'll stick with a bear in space. That way we're using Zoom's virtual background facility, a facility that Microsoft Teams doesn't have at the moment, even though with Teams you can blur your background. Um, and we've also got another feed coming in from FaceRig as well. Or we can use the Northern Lights, which might be a bit more apt because it's also animated. Also a beach as well. How cool is this? Okay, with that done then, um, what we'll do, we'll start our video in our meeting. And there I am. I am now joining my meeting as a polar bear on an animated background that's been put in by Zoom. So, 
That's not bad. That's quite a bit of fun. If I don't say so myself. Bring fun to your meetings. Although things to think about as well. You want to make sure that installing these on work PCs um, is such and it complies with your IT department's policy. I'm using this on my own personal PC, which I can also join meetings with. So as a result of which, you know, I, I think it works pretty well. Um, let's turn that virtual background off momentarily. To virtual background and none. There you go. Uh, and that works a little bit better as well. Not too much actually going on. So again, you can record this session, manage participants, all the things that you could normally do within um, Zoom as well. So have some fun with it if you're a Zoom user. That's how you impose a filter, I suppose, really. A face rig feed directly into Zoom to make you look like a polar bear, a president, a hamburger, whatever else. Hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, like and subscribe. Let me know in the comments if you're still using Zoom, if you're using FaceRig, or if you're going to use FaceRig, and how you're going to prank some of your employees and bring a little bit of humour to what we could, where we all need a bit of humour during these sad times. Thanks for watching. See you soon.